The Lord, to make His face shine upon you. Now, I have the great privilege of professionally being one of those people that gets to be involved in weddings, and I get to have usually the best seat in the house. It's roughly two and a half feet from the people who are getting married. Not always, depending on the angle of the faces, but often I get the up-close view of what the groom looks like when he sees his bride. Right? That just kind of usually stupid idiot grin with eyes that are dancing with gladness. The joy in human form walking down the aisle. I get to see His face shine upon her. We forget What God is explaining here is that that's how His face radiates with us in Christ. And again, I I, I love you. We don't believe that, do we? Even for those of us that are like, well, I think God kind of likes me. Some of the time, most of the time. I mean, when things are going well. We don't ever kind of think in this category, the description of like when the groom is watching his bride come in and to see his face light up with gladness over his bride-to-be. If only that were biblical language. Now, that's actually the exact picture that Jesus uses with his church. Ephesians 5. It's my favorite we get to see in Revelation at the end of the book where you get to the, the beautiful picture of the bridegroom showing up. Now, in Revelation, interestingly, and this is, I guess, a different cultural time, the bride is standing up front and the groom is the one that comes in the back. Arrayed in power and wrath and dignity and brilliance, the Lord Jesus shows up with a face that is radiantly in love with his church. <laughs> 